How's it going, lads? We're doing some more dinosaur hunting. I don't know how I was going to go. It was pretty good yesterday. We figured I'd get the dinosaur bones back to the fucking museum and all. Oh. <clears throat> That's not good. Right, what are we doing now? Oh, we got to do this one. Right, okay. Okay. Right. Oh, we got to cut the cast off it. We got to cut the cast off it. I don't know what happens if I break one of these, you know. I don't know if that's a if that's a thing. Oh my god. I probably shouldn't cut the cut the things so thin because then you have to like do a load of them. Oh. Oh, I can see it. I can see it already. Manual clean. Okay. Oh, so we have to get in there with the Dremel, innit? Oh shit. They're just fucking falling apart, yeah. Loads of bone brushing. <laughs> Remember, boys, brush your bones. It's fine. Oh, that's popped up late. <laughs> oh, mate, I don't know. I don't want Quicks to have the amp with me, see? That's, uh, that's Quicks' lady, that one. How's it going, dude? We're uh, playing more dinosaur game. It's oddly relaxing, you know. It really is. It really is until the the chaos starts tomorrow night. We're gonna be doing some some Evil Dead, hopefully. I'm meant to be playing it with Pete Gunn. I'm gonna have to give him a shout and see uh, see if he's still up for it. I know he was playing it. Ah, <laughs> see, no, not yet, dude. I am um, having it tomorrow. I've had it sat on the desk here for like a week since it came out, but because it's off the missus for my birthday, I, I went allowed it. Sad times. So we've resorted to playing Dinosaur Fossil Hunter. I'm quite glad I have because it's pretty good. The music's lovely. Wait, do those don't they have to be cleaned as well, or are those ones I've already done? How's uh, how's Warhammer going, dude? I was watching a bit of the VOD earlier. I'm uh, I'm normally a sleepy boy. I'm getting old, see. That's what's happening. That's what's happening to me, Pip. Age doesn't come alone, apparently. That's what they say, anyway. Oh, that one just needs a bit of a touch-up. Just a little, just a little, just a little touch on the end of the bone. It works wonders. Okay. Next is the fun bit. We get to see see what we've got and we can put it together and stuff. Oh. See if you miss if you miss the end. There we go. Oh, it's a bad. But I am looking forward to that evil dead man. It looks a lot like Dead by Daylight, but with actual combat. <laughs> like not just running around touching up generators, you know? So it looks pretty fun, to be fair. I've also got some other games coming Saturday, so that should be nice. Yeah, like, I enjoyed, like, the, the tension of fucking Dead by Daylight. Like, shit, am I going to get caught and whatnot? 
but once the killer got to you, it couldn't do anything. And for me, that's that's no good. I, I'd like to be able to defend myself at least a little bit, right? Apparently, the matchmaking in uh, Evil Dead is pretty good. But at the minute, it's new. So we'll see how it is in a couple of months' time once like uh, the newness has worn off, you know? So I think most people that play that Dead by Daylight now are like super fans of the game. Uh, me and me and Mike, we, we just jumped in and started playing it and got absolutely fucking battered. <laughs> Didn't have a clue what was going on. So jumping on the Evil Dead semi-early, I know I'm going to be like a week late and whatever, but we should have a rough idea of what to do, you know? Okay. This is uh, this is basically just testing how accurate you are with a mouse. Not like aim accurate, but like how smooth you can be, right? Mind we showed how smooth we were when we were doing the dot to dot on the dinosaur picture. It's one of those ones, man. You know, like you're doing something, and you, it makes you stick your tongue. <laughs> makes you stick your tongue out. I knew a guy that that used to do that when he was uh, tightening tightening wheel nuts and whatnot. And honestly, man, all he had to do one day was slip, and he was going to take the end off his tongue. I don't think he's done it yet, but it wouldn't surprise me if it does happen before he uh, packs it in. He shouldn't be doing stuff like that. Okay. It's always a little end bit I misses. Yeah. We do have some uh, some funky shit to eat on the stream tomorrow as well. Craven, he's he's a fan of Turkish delight, and I hate the stuff. And he's like, "No, nah, man, you need, just try it again. Just try it again." You know, it's like, "Hey, I stuck my finger in the plug socket once, and and I had a shock." And it's like, "You should probably do it again just to make sure." So it's kind of like that with the Turkish delight tomorrow. Oh, that's going to be fun. I hate the stuff so, so, so much. Wait, that's it, is it? Oh, I thought they were on the table. Okay. I couldn't tell if they were floating or not. Oh my god. Hey. Oh, that one there? Just touch the end of the bone. I've got to spray this shit on him. I don't know what this is. Like, really, with with how much is coming out the end of this, you should get a hell of a lot of coverage. Just from, like, one squirt. That sounded terrible. That sounded so bad. Right, okay. Let's put it together. I don't know what dinosaur we're making. Probably something shit. I mean... Um, I'll just turn him around. I mean, I don't think we're going to find a T-Rex straight off the rip, right? I don't think that's going to happen. Okay. 
Ready? Okay. Uh, let's start putting in the theatre, bro. See, I know words. I'm a semi-doctor. Because they just know words. They don't know how to fix you half the time. I think they're just gas. It's like when you phone... Uh, when you phone tech, tech support, it's like, hey, we're just reading off the screen here. Yeah? I think that's what doctors do. They just copy whatever's in their book. that one there like these little fiddly bones are the worst I like a big bone boys I'm not gonna lie go oh we can get that one from this side that's fine <laughs> can't get that one from this side though i think that's it lads we've got a rib cage set up support structure no that's not what I want to do where's the support structure oh over there oh shit oh right let's uh pick it up okay nice We've nearly got a full dinosaur. <laughs> right, if we do this, um, management, no. Nope. Knowledge, notifications. No, we're already there. Oh, dude, we've got skill points again now. Okay, breaking rocks. Some of your tools have been upgraded. Fuck yeah, I'll take that. Bone cleaning. Okay. Notifications. Where are the... Okay. Well, let's get in there, boys. I honestly thought I was just going to split it into two down the middle and I'd been fucking raging. Oh, big cuts. Let's go. Um, we go. Ah, oh, there. Manual clean it, boys. Manual clean it. It doesn't look like there's much in this one, to be fair. No, oh, not much at all. What's that? A head? Jawbone? No. We want to do the manual stuff so we can upgrade all our shit, right? That one didn't even look close to done. What the fuck? There we go. Ooh. 
lovely. Right, give it the give it the grease, lube it up. Hmm, I don't know what this is. Does it go on this? It does, you know. Oh, mate. We are fucking flying here. We are flying. Um, notifications, messages. Pretty sure we got more boxes than that, right? Oh, this must be for the big ones. Dude, I can't wait to get a, a bigger crate. Yes, we've leveled up again, boys. Where are we looking now? Oh. Okay. Oh, it's only a small bit again, man. Oh, lots of little small bits. Oh, we got some claws. I wonder if this is of the same uh, the same dinosaur. I hope so. I want to get a completed dinosaur. That's my mission for the game, because we're not going to be playing this forever. I want to get a completed dinosaur of any kind. Give it the, the gunk. The green gunk. Let's spin up. It seems fairly easy to level up, you know. Quite like that. See, half of these, you know, aren't, don't even look really clean. <laughs> They're like, oh, I'll do that's good enough. I think they just want it set up and ready to go. As we do this bottom row, and spin them over. And do the top row. Oh, we missed some there. We missed some there, boys. I'll spin them over again. There we go. Let's give him a spray and spray the gunk on him. Can't even see the bones anymore. It's so small. What the hell? 
Oh shit. Alright, okay. This is one foot. This can't be flat dinosaur. The one that's in the thing waiting to be built, right? Surely. It just can't be. Oh, mate, right in the back there, look. Oh, no. A tiny little, a tiny little toe. Tiny little toe. Dude, this has to be a raptor foot. It has to be. Like that. That claw there has got to be a raptor. Has to be. All right, let's grab it. No, it's not. Dude, it does fit this little dinosaur. Fucking look at the claw. Or is that a baby raptor? Is that what we're thinking? Right, where is my uh, my workstation? Where's my laptop? Right, it's not out here. I can't remember how we got the dinosaurs in here. How we got the crates in. I think we did this. Um... Yes, deliver fossil to preparation room. Yes. Here we go, boys. We got it. Oh, shit. That's a big one. Oh, mate. We are... Ooh. All right, let's, uh, let's start cutting out the big one, then. Dude, I hope it's something something awesome. Oh. Uh, manual clean. Oh shit! What is this? Should probably watch it don't hack off some of the fossil, right? Okay. Drop that. Dude, that is going to be fucking huge, whatever it is. I say we get rid of the big bit first. I think that could be the way to go. The big ones take so much longer than the little ones. I thought they'd be easier because they're big, you can get at them, right?
Okay. You've only done sixty percent of the bone. I'm gonna have to have a break in a minute, lads. This is fucking too much like hard work. Eighty-four percent. What? What are we not seeing, you lads? What are we not seeing? Oh, that's a separate bone, eh? Didn't know that. Didn't he know that? Okay. Ah, uh, on the front here, is it? Whew. That was tough. This one's going to be a bastard to put together. This is lads. I can see it coming. Oh. You can highlight the unclean areas. I didn't know that. That is going to be a help. Especially with these big ones, right? These things are going to be a fucking nightmare to put on. I can see it coming. Um, right, let's roll them over. strike off a good few of these now i like how they're just dropping on the floor these things are millions of years old and this guy's just chucking them on the floor like shouldn't he have like a basket or some shit to put them in do you know what i mean like these things are old as hell and he's just throwing them on the floor saying that though he, uh, he has got invisible hands using this brush, so. Why, why is it up there? Why did you go up here, brush? I wanted to get these. So it looks like the big dinosaurs are going to be a hell of a lot more work, work than the little ones. You thought like because the bones are bigger, they'd be easier to do, but it don't seem like that's the case. one side of these dude some of these need hardly anything doing to them oh 
Oh, okay. Ah, there we go. Nothing needed for those there. Oh, dude, you have to get the little Dremel thing on him now as well. Oh, no. No. Too much, too much work. Too much work. they would be like, hey, Shock, how, how did you, uh, you spend your two weeks off work? Oh, by doing more work. This time I was working on dinosaur bones, so. Oh, dude, I didn't even see them. Oh my god, they're small. Wait, what? There's another one. Dude, I can't see. They're blending in. <laughs> They're blending in with each other. If I do this one here first. Then get this one. And flip it over. Just like that. to upgrade this bone cleaning tool boys it's 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 got a narrow tip for like the <laughs> for like the surface area you know okay let's get in there Ninety-four percent, boys. We're doing all right. Taking a while, though. There we go. All right, let's get that big bastard out of the way. Let's get these ones. Like, if I do all of these like little ones in one go, and then spin them over, and then do the back of them, we should be all right. That's what I think, anyway. I'll do this row as well, I reckon. Just in case. I tell you what, man, you know, holding that mouse like that makes your finger hit.
Okay. Uh, spin him over. Spin up. Oh my god, these little ones, man. There we go, just get him in one pass, that's what we like. We love to see it. We love to see it, boys. Alright, now we're onto the road now where we need to do the back side of them as well. There we go. Oh no. This one. Oh, there's little ones there. I didn't even see them. Oh, no. <laughs> Oh, lads, my hand is failing me. It's a car change finger. I'll change finger while we do this little bit, you know? Give, give the old hand a rest, right? You know what I mean? Do the front of these ones as well when it comes to flipping them over we uh we should be able to get all, near enough everything and in like one pass right We might have an upgrade for our cleaning tools after this, that'll be nice. Get these off. This is this is just so satisfying to like watch the watch like the date and whatnot come off them and with the music on man, it's so good. So good. I know this isn't probably everyone's cup of tea, but you know, it's nice and relaxing. We're gonna have plenty more streams where shit kicks off. <laughs> Get these little ones down here, these little balls. I think we've done that side now.
Let's uh, let's flip them on over, boys. I'm interested to see what this fucking thing makes, Mike. It's huge. And it's also got lots of parts. Well, I don't know if we even touched those little ones at the top. I didn't even see them up there. the big bone now lads onto the big bone okay then we got to spray it with the stuff right after we've done this let's have a look see what we're missing oh, we're missing a bit Even though they decided to put red, like on dark brown. Let's get this from down the bottom corner. Oh, we can't, we can't get the end of it though. We can't get the end, end of the bone. Oh, that one's done. This one's there now. Let's give him a good, a good squirt now. Don't even know what this shit is. What does it say? Oh, we're washing the bones. Wash your bones, boys. there that one there oh those little ones man. i never see the little ones and that one there oh mate okay let's get the big bit on let's see it starts to take shape a bit yeah Spread them out, they've put one like the wrong sides. I'll go to the top. Okay. There. This is just basically a big jigsaw, but they show you where the pieces go. My kid's saying he wants this now, so it'll keep him occupied for a while, I suppose.
Okay. Where the hell is this going off there? Ah, oh, for the next couple of weeks as well, lads. I'm off. Uh, I'm off work, so stream times are going to be different. It'll just be like whenever I feel like playing games, pretty much. But we're gonna have a bunch of shit to play, so that's nice. I've been on a bit of a dinosaur thing lately. I might see if I can get hold of a copy of Jurassic Park for the Mega Drive. And we'll have a fuck about with that. From what I remember, that game was quite hard as well. But I was a kid when I had that. So we'd have to see. Put that up there. Nearly done, lads. <laughs> Thank God. Oh, another bit there. Oh, dude, I'm crouching shit. <laughs> hey crew, how's it going, buddy? Bone Hunter four thousand. Yes. This has been a bastard. This one is like so many little parts. Like, so many of them. I'm gonna say we do have the Turkish delight. I'm gonna be giving that a go tomorrow. So that's going to be nice. Uh, let's grab it. Set up support structure. Oh, wow. Dude, that was only that bit. I thought it was going to be a lot more. Freddy? Who's Freddy? Right, that's that done. Right, let's move on to our next. We've got a one in here. I think I might let the let like the workers do the big ones because they're fucking they're a bastard. Oh haha. <laughs> you know what? I was thinking that, right? But I weren't gonna say nothing because I was hoping <laughs> I was hoping you'd forgot. 
I think that's going to be the next the next title that is, you know, Craven. Uh, manual clean. There. Like the little ones are alright, look. Oh, this is his head. Yes. Oh. Tried zooming in, it won't let me. I don't know why. Like the little ones like this, you would think that's where you, you should zoom in, right? Oh, nice, dude. That's awesome. Was it was it much of a like much of a hassle to get awakened? I hope not. But even if it was, as long as it's working tidy, then it's worth it, right? Sometimes the brush sound doesn't work. Like on these little ones. Oh my god, look how small that is. I've heard that a few times. When referring to me bone. Get in it. Oh man. But like you said, you've got it working. That's the main thing. What are you going to use it for now that you've got it so you can actually use it? Oh, dude. Yeah, a laptop without Wi-Fi. It's like a car without wheels, right? Dude, I'm glad you got it working. Like I said, I've never been one for, like, for Apple stuff. I know people are, like, mad for it, right? But it's never been... Never been for me, you know? I've always liked my Android, and I've always liked, like, a PC or a laptop, right? Right, let's get that. See, the little dinosaurs, man. The little bones you can fly through. Those big bastards, though. They, uh... They take a lot of dust in. Dude. Funny you should say that. Um, that's probably what I'm getting from the work PC at the minute. It has been fucking terrible, man. Like, terrible. I was uh, trying to reply to an email earlier on. I literally typed out the email. I got up. I made a cup of coffee. I came back and I could just see the, just see the words like uh, appearing on my end of the screen. Dude, it's been so fucking bad. And BT are blaming Works internet provider, and the internet provider are blaming BT. So they just go around in circles. And in the meanwhile, uh, me and uh, like my my teammate then, because he does the same jobs what I do are just pulling our fucking hair out. But there is a plus side. I'm off work for two weeks, starting like now. So hopefully it's fixed by the time I go back. I fucking hope. Because it's just so frustrating. Something to take me like 10 minutes is taking me over an hour. It's so fucking bad. Oh, here we go. See, this is a view they should give me when we're doing all the other stuff. I can get, like, right in there, you know? Dude! No way! That's fucking bad. Sorry, I was reading that there. I was like, what's the right mouse button do? Dude, that's fucking terrible. Uh, around here, at one point, we had people stealing the lead off church roofs. 
I haven't heard anything about it in years, so I don't know if they've packed it in or if they got caught or whatnot. But that was like a hot thing where I was, well, where I live, you know? Super fucking weird. I know the church has got plenty of money and all, but still, fucking stealing lead off roofs, you know? Absolutely insane. Dude, that is fucked up. Yeah, I suppose you, you catch hold of a live cable going in there, man. You're fucked, didn't you? You know, fucking hell. I never thought about that, see? It was, uh, I was having internet problems in the house here. And for a long while, because I'm with BT, so it's them, them and like OpenReach that maintain the lines here, right? So I'd be on the phone trying to be like, hey, this this isn't working, this isn't working. And uh, they were like, oh, we've done a, we've done a test. The, the problem is inside the property. So if we send out a, an engineer, it's going to cost X amount of money for them to come out. I was like, yep, yeah, send them. Fine. That's not a problem. The guy came out. And he was like checking the wiring because my phone socket is pretty much by the front door. And he was checking the phone socket. He tested the line. He was like, no, nah, the problem's between here and here, outside. And I was like, yes, I fucking knew it was. You know? They were hoping they could charge me a good few quid for that, like, bastards. Fucking BT or a ball ache, man. What are the internet providers like over with you, Craven? Like compared to over here, because you, you can see, like you've seen both, right? Whenever you sat down, oh my god, that's fucked up. They just do it at random times. They normally do it late on at night. Like when I'm watching TV or something. And that was fucking infuriating, man. Especially now where everything's Netflix or Disney Plus or, or, or shit like that, right? So fucking annoying. But it would only happen later on at night. So I don't know if they were like trying to cut back the signal to save some money or something thinking that people probably won't be using it that time of day dude that's fucked up I don't have that problem here like all the all the phone lines like overhead in the house are all running through the attic you know but like I said my phone socket is pretty much by the front door so there isn't much coming in to go wrong right that's what I thought There's a, the only way these could have gone wrong because there's no moving parts is if a fucking mouse or something has got into the attic and, and chewed its way through it but I've never had a problem with like mice or anything you know BT the fucking worst like, I've got a pretty good internet connection here at the minute, so I'm happy with that. I'm able to do my streaming, I can work from home fine, stuff like that. But I am chomping at the bit, man, to get that, that fucking, like, fibre to the premises internet. And they're rolling it out round here. But they reckon it's, like, not, like, uh, scheduled to be done here. Like, they haven't got a time frame for it. Not happy, like. Not happy at all. Where the fuck do these little bits go? Oh my god. Like, my internet's fine for what I need, but... Oh, what's Zed do? Oh, shit. Okay. Oh, 
Oh shit, dude. And that costs a fortune, right? That does cost a fortune. Right, this is the problem. You can't see. Like the bones behind the skeleton. Like there's a bone here somewhere. But I just can't see it. Oh, there it is. They need to work on that. Can we have a patch? Yeah, I remember when my old man set up his set up his business. For them for him to have power from the pylon to the garage, it would have cost him something stupid like ten grand. Like an extortionate amount of money, right? Probably for the power, the the money they'd lose by knocking off the grid and connecting lines and whatnot. So it wouldn't be a half hour job, you know? So what he done, he got a, a a Jenny, because he used to work at the power station. He got a generator and an engine, and that's how he powered the garage, man. I think that cost him a couple of grand. You know, like three grand, maybe? Oh, but this was, like, way back when, you know, so three grand was still a lot of fucking money. Well, it's a lot of money these days, but even more so back then, right? This was, like, the 90s, 95, something stupid like that. Right. Manual clean. Yeah, dude. And the thing is, it was cheaper to run than what it would have cost him, like, from the, from the electric board, right? He could. Dude, they're coming down in price now. I was shocked. Well, I say shocked, but the the, the rate that the, the price is coming down on them shocked me a bit. I seen a, a 3090 the other day, a, a Asus one. It was a black one, and it was down to like 1,800 quid. 1,700 quid. That's it, man. People are People aren't so in a rush to buy them now, so they're sitting on the shelves and the companies have got them. They're like, oh, we should probably knock these down a bit, see if we can get rid of them before the new cards come in. I'm interested to see what the 40 series is like. I really am. I'm hoping there's not much of a performance uplift over what I got, because if there is, I'm going to have to get one and my missus will hate me. I mean, she don't like me now, but she'll fucking hate me then, you know? Right, okay. Sometimes the cleaning thing goes a bit wonky. Yeah, man, I'm, I'm hoping. Like, I am hoping they're fucking they're shit hot, you know? Because that then lets developers make better games for the most part, you know? So I am hoping there is a there is a serious fucking uplift to him, like. Oh mate, could you imagine? I'm uh I'm ordering a bunch of games at the minute. I was gonna order them today, but I'm not gonna be in tomorrow, so I gotta wait to order them tomorrow to get them delivered for Saturday. So I, I'm like, I know we're getting married and all, but I'm off for like two weeks now, so I, I, I want some new games. <laughs> like I got fucking, I got tons of games on Steam, man, like loads of them. But it's just nothing near that I fancy playing, right? Oh man, I've got a bunch of Switch games. I'm getting a couple of PS5 games. I'm getting Far Cry 6 on the Xbox One, uh, the Series X, sorry, because I'm not a big fan of the Epic Store. And apparently it runs better on the Xbox than what it does on the, the PS5. So I'm going to get it on the Xbox. This is from Argos, this is. Like, I could have... Oh, shit. Like, I could have them delivered tomorrow, but I'm not going to be in. So I'm going to have to order them tomorrow for them to come Saturday. So then I've got someone here to, like, collect them, like, you know? Oh, 
god, these little fiddly ones, man. Oh, is it? Yeah, I, I don't tend to buy me stuff on there. Like, if it's, like, Epic exclusive, I'll get it on console, right? That's normally what I do. And then when it comes to PC, when it comes to Steam, then whenever, I've normally finished and played with it, and then I'll be like, oh, I'll give that another go, you know? That's what I did with Hitman 3. Because I bought that on the PS5, because that was Epic exclusive. Oh, God. Dude, you know holding, like, the left clicker, clicker down? It's fucking my hand up. There's going to be no masturbating for me. I can't do it with my left hand. See, I normally try and get whatever's on the Epic Store on, on console, you know? Because I've got a Series X and a PS5 there. The PS5 doesn't get used too often. And I play the Series X a lot off-stream. Like, I'll play the... Like the Game Pass stuff, you know? I've been playing a bunch of that Jurassic Park evolution thing where you build your own park. And apparently the second one is coming to Game Pass this month, so I'm looking forward to that. You got GTA 5. I've got a couple of the free games. I have. Um, I can't remember which ones I got. I haven't played them yet. But I would, like, log in at one point and, and pick up the free stuff, you know? The only thing I use on Epic now is Fortnite. Because I was playing it on my Xbox, but I wanted to play it with mouse and keyboard, you know? So I do, I do play Fortnite using, like, the Epic launcher. But I haven't bought skins and all that stuff. I just... I just uh, play with, like, the vanilla fucking... The gear, like, you know? I got picked on because of that. <laughs> that sounds so bad. I got picked on because of that the other day. I was playing Epic. I was playing Epic. I was playing Fortnite. And I was playing quads. And I was playing it. And there's some little kid, man. He must have been like 11, 10, 11. He's like, oh my God, man, you're so shit. Look at your skin. I was like, you little fucker. Proper gave me grief, man, because I hadn't bought skins, you know? Damn, that was fast bacon bot. <coughs> bacon bot's a fucking lifesaver, man. Just get rid of those fucking follower message things. People can't be that desperate, surely. Yeah, man, um, my buddy Bacon, he's made his own bot, basically just to get rid of those. Because they, they're just a plague, you know? They, like, it's super annoying. I can't see people, like, wanting to buy them, you know what I mean? Oh, dude, I haven't, I haven't played WoW. I've watched, like, people play it. But there's just so much going on on the screen. I'm just overwhelmed. Like, I haven't got a clue what's going on, you know? There's like a million and one things popping up. And it's like, oh shit. I wouldn't even know where to start. I, sh I should stream it, you know? And I have all like, the people that like, are well into WoW come in and be like, you're doing it wrong. Like, I don't care, man. I ain't got a fucking clue what I'm doing. Oh, mate. I don't know what it was like back then, but these days, like, I've watched it, and it's like, fucking, it's just mental. It's like, just little numbers and little square things everywhere. It's like, I, I can't even tell what's happening, yeah? You know? At least with me, me pew pew shooting games and stuff like that, and this, you're like, oh, he's building a dinosaur. With that, I was like, what the fuck is that guy doing? Why, why is all these things here? <laughs> I must be getting old. I must be getting old. Got two bones left, boys. I can see this one this time. 
Oof. Right, okay. Right, let's grab it. Oh, it does fit on this one. This is awesome. Oh, have they? Oh, mate. I definitely wouldn't be able to cope then way back when it came out. Fuck. I'd be completely lost. Um... Right, so we're building two dinosaurs. Deliver. Cleaning table is occupied. Oh, it's another big one. Um. All right, so if that's another big one, then let's have a look. Doing. I guess we're gonna have to. I guess we're gonna have to open up this big one, then, boys. Oh, what we're we gonna do? We're gonna drop out. What's my favourite? Oh man, it's gotta be a T Rex, isn't it? It has to be. I know. I do like a Raptor as well, though, because they apparently they were like proper proper hunters, right? I, I basically like anything that can kill you. I suppose even the, like the here before is what if they stood on you, right? Fossil preparation room, yes. We don't have to do the big one ourselves. Oh no. My phone's going nuts. Right, okay. Okay. I know. I know. Because it... Like, I know they're the most known as well. But, like, they're the... Like, in the movies and all, they're, like, the most documented, right? Like, you look at Jurassic Park, the badasses where the team... Mind. There was that one... Um, in the new Jurassic Parks that they kept in the tank. It was, like, a massive fucking crocodile. That thing was pretty cool. I like that. I did like that. I don't know what it's called, though. Oh, it gives you a little... A little um, update thing. Oh, my God. So, while they're doing one, I can do the other, right? Maybe it could have been, dude, but it was a big old croc. Have you, dude, have you seen many of them since you've been in, in Australia? Because you have crocs here, not alligators, right? Alligators is mostly America. Is that right? Oh, shit. Not a single, oh, dude. No way. Right, let's uh, let's manual clean this one. It doesn't look too bad. Like I'd love to go go to Australia or whatever just to see them. Like not like ones in a zoo or anything over here, but like an actual like an actual proper like out in the wild. Then you know, the same as like koalas and stuff. I'd love to see a koala, man. They're cool as fuck. Apparently, they're meant to be little bastards, though, right? Like, super annoying, but cute as hell. Oh, man. See, I, I'd love it. Like, I, I'm just more concerned about the massive spiders and shit that you guys have. That, that's what would, like, keep me away from there. Oh, no way. Dude, that's a shame. They're cute as fuck. They are super cute, man. Koalas. Oh, 
That's the problem with humans, man. They just they just can't keep themselves to themselves. It's a fucking shame. Oh shit, have you? They're like the massive bastards like this, right? Yeah, that that'd be no good to me, dude. I I'd shit myself. We had some flying creature come in the window here one night, Crave, and we was me and the missus were sat here watching TV. And this thing was huge. It was about the size of a can of pop. It was fucking massive. And I seen it come in. Well, I heard it. I heard it hit the window. And I looked and I seen it. And I just I just got up and ran out of the room. I just left it to die, basically. It could have been anything. I was fucking gone. I can shit myself. She still reminds me about that, you know. It was just so big, man. I've never seen nothing like it. It was a monstrous thing. Oh, man, I was gone. I was up and I was gone. <laughs> Fuck, that was huge. Absolutely huge. I have no idea what it was. I think it left of its own accord as well. I think it went back out the window. From what I remember, but... Nah, mate, gone. She wouldn't impress with me. You left me to die. I was like, well, you know, you, you can run. Oh, dude, cats are bad for that. They're fucking bad for that. The missus's mum... Here, cat bought a bat in and it got into like a carrier bag or some shit like I don't know how the fuck it got into the carrier bag so I think the missus' mum just threw the carrier bag outside with a bat in it yeah yeah it, she just it was in the carrier bag she flung the fucking carrier bag outside <laughs> I'd have done the same mind I remember a bat getting caught in my mate's hair when we were younger, he thought it was cool to have dreadlocks. And we were walking home one night, high as fuck. And a bat got caught in his hair and he was like squealing and stuff. The bat and my mate. God, it was funny, man. <laughs> it was so funny. And especially more so being high, right? This was a this was way back. I don't do things like that now. I'm a an upstanding pillar of the community. Even though I have got a bit of a weirdo living across the street from me now. I uh, I was down talking to the boy the other day when he was playing games, and I was out like I had my fag in my hand, and I opened the front door and, and threw it outside, like threw it out in the gutter. And she was just stood in, I'm guessing, it's her living room window. Just stood there, staring at the house, like my house. And as I went out, like, I was just in my boxes. And I was like, fuck, you know. And she was just staring at the house and looking at me. And I was just like, hi, you know, proper weird man. She waits for the missus to get home from work and stuff in the fucking living room window. And then she'll see the missus pulling up and just go outside there and just talk the gear off here for an hour. Like, the missus thinks she's a bit slow, but, you know, that's that's no excuse for being super weird, right? You know, it's it's odd. Yeah, she was just, just stood in, in the living room, living room window just staring at the house. She hasn't lived there long either. A couple of months, two months maybe? I fuck it. I hope not. I don't want to break any more hearts, Craven, you know. I'm, I'm just not that guy. I said I said that to the missus, though, funny enough. I goes, right, next time you're on holiday, I'm locking the front door in case she comes in and, like, molests me in my sleep. But yeah, she's, a, she's an odd one, she is. Oh, I missed that one. She is an odd one. Wait. 
Is there any more floating somewhere? Oh, there. Sometimes you just can't see them. No, with my luck, mate, she'd like it. She'd be like one of the six people on the planet that enjoy Turkish light. And then I just never get rid of it. We do have it here, luck. Uh, there it is. We're going to chew into that tomorrow as a, a fucking birthday treat. You bastard. So we're going to get stuck into that tomorrow. One of six people. That's right, Craven. That's right. One of six. I did see someone else in the Discord mind that, that doesn't like Turkish light, by the look of it. I don't know if that one's any good. I don't, that isn't the one I had before. But that's all Tesco's had, apparently. Like, the little local shop doesn't sell it. But the missus was in Tesco's today, and I was like, Hey, uh, have a look at some Turkish light. <laughs> so, that's going to be a, be a bit of a treat. I'm going to have to find something to, like, numb the taste afterwards. The things, the things Twitch do to you. I'm still waiting on, I'm still waiting on this uh, soda stream milk. I am, you know. That's going to be fun. That's good. <laughs> oh, fizzy milk. Oh my god. That's going to be great. That is. <laughs> oh, fizzy milk. Those soda stream machines are cool, mind. They really do. Oh, we got that one without even going on the back. I'll tell you what, though, because this is like constantly holding the mouse button down. My finger feels like it's about to fall off. I'm not going to lie. I just hope when when the fizzy milk does happen, Craven, that it's like fresh out the fridge and it's not like slightly warm fizzy milk. Oh, that'd be fuck. That'd be bad to watch, man. Let alone taste. All right, let's spin them over. I'm glad Thank I don't have to. Loop Guru. Cheers for the follow, dude. Good to see you. Are you a dinosaur fan, mate? I love me a dinosaur. This is just a bit of a chill out game. This isn't like the the main game we play on the channel, don't worry even though we've been playing it the past couple of days. I'll be honest, I sleep like a fucking baby after playing this. On my back and covered in shit. Let's get that one. No, nope, that one. That way. That way. Oh, Lou, it's it's great. It really is. I think it was like 15 quid. I don't know what that transfer to, like, wherever you're from, you know? But it's well worth that. We've been playing it for like three days now. We're about six hours in. And it's really good. You know, if you've had like a shit day at work, it's like the perfect streaming game. You can come on, chill out, mess about with it a bit. And, like, talk to chat and stuff. It's great. Oh, no. Is that because of the, the Linux install, Craven? Or is that because the uh, the ISP? Oh, it's 
No, I don't want to twist them just yet. Is that one done? Okay. Get these here. Oh, I bet you were. You dirty man, you. Oh. I just think how I feel, Craven, mate, fiddling with all these bones, giving them a good, a good rubbing. <laughs> oh. I'm a, I'm a piece of shit. I keep making the same old bone jokes over and over again. You guys are going to hate me. You really are. The bone zone, I am. I've, I've got tunnel vision, and all I can focus on is the bone. I, I prefer the bigger bones, you know? The big bones are my thing. I don't know why, but playing this makes me want a packet of pork scratchings. I don't know why. I know that's a bit weird, right? I definitely feel like a pork scratching after playing this. Oh man, I fuck it. I love them. But I like I like the like the normal pork scratchings, like the ones you get with like the, the odd hair and stuff on now and again. But for the most part I like like the, the puffy ones. They kinda like Like they've injected air into them and like they've puffed up a bit. I haven't had them in forever. I did have beef jerky the other day for the first time, though. And I quite enjoyed it. I thought it was quite good. That was the first time I'd had beef jerky. And they sell it in Asda now. I think it was Asda I got it from anyway. I was quite impressed. Dude, my dog used to eat uh, pig's ears. They'd like sell them at like the pet shop and stuff. Fucking stinking things. Absolutely stinking. But he loved them. Oh, can you? I didn't know that. I just, I think it was Jack, Jack Lynx, is it? Do they do the... the I need to have pork scratchings, the jerky. Because that's the one I had, a red and... A red and black packet. It was pretty good. I did quite enjoy it. I, d I didn't know what to expect. But I was pleasantly surprised, you know? Ooh, teriyaki. That sounds good. I do like... Well, I like teriyaki chicken. Um, I do like teriyaki chicken, so... Been able to chew on it for a bit, like in in jerky form, sounds quite fucking good. Really does. What's that one done? Ah, the spraying part now. Could get to build a, some more of this big old dinosaur now. Because the other team was finished, like, preparing it. Dry out for a week. Oh, man. See, I'd get weirded out doing that, leaving me food out for a week. I know that's that's how they do it, like, when it's, like, mass-produced, you know? But I'd be like, shit, is this safe? Can I trust myself? <laughs> I'm like that when I make dinner over night time, man. I'm like, uh, is this cooked? Oh, fuck. There we go. Yes. Pound it with salt. That's how they, um... That's how they cure food. Like, the aged food, you know? And I was like, hey, this, this steak has been aged for, like, 24 years. I was like, oh, I don't know about that. You know? Especially when, like, once the seal's been broken, you should 
eat it within a week or whatever. It's got loads of these little dots again, isn't it? I might give it a go, you know. I might do a... I might do a thing and then eat it on stream and see if I if I'm back then the next day or if I if I'm dead or shitting myself away, you know. Oh, funny you should say that. I've got a fan on here at the minute, dude. It is hot and muggy and fucking horrible in well in Wales at the minute. I don't know what it's like in the rest rest of the UK, but here. It's been trying for a couple of days to have like a bit of a storm, but it just doesn't seem to get the to get like the umph to do it, right? And we could do with one just to clear the air a bit. Cause you you know yourself, Craven. Well Welsh people, man, aren't built for the heat for the most part. Half of us are born with webbed feet. Get that up there. Dude, these little dots, the time consuming ones. Dude, it is. It is today as well, but it's just so fucking hot with it and like sticky. Oh, dude, it's horrible. I hate days like that. Just give me just give me rain and cold all year round, and I'd be so happy. Don't worry, lads. We're going to get to the end of this one. <laughs> at some point, at some point, we're going to do it. Hopefully, anyway. These must be like a sort of armor plates because they're just floating, you know? Oh, dude, you've got it made over there then. Like, I, I've seen Home and Away and and neighbors neighbors it's an ankylosaurus oh we'll we'll see now when, when it's finished dude we'll see this is just a part of it we've built one bit already and the preparation team has done another part so we'll, we'll be able to put two parts on him in a minute hopefully Dude, I fucking love the music in this game. It's so good. Um, oh, we can't turn it once, once we're here. I don't know. I don't know. We've got a bit to do. We've built. We've built a good chunk of him, and our our fossil team is helping as well now because if it relied on me to do this. Like the whole dinosaur, it, it'd take months. <laughs> Even though I'm quite an efficient worker, you know, I will say that about myself. But these little dot things, man. Grab. Oh, I do need to grab it. Oh, there's one side of him. <laughs> this is what he's going to look like when he's finished. We're working on this one here, and we've got this little guy down there as well. Um, right, okay. Oh, shit, I thought it was going to fall on me then. You bastard. See, I was thinking Stegosaurus when I first started putting them together, but he got the spines that go that goes up, right? More like more like blades coming out of his back rather than being flat armored. Right, fossil preparation room. 
Right, so where's the ones that have been prepped then? Where are they? Fossil management, skeleton management, stone database. Oh, wait there. It's one of these. I think it's the Edmontonia Long Aseps. Oh no, here we go. I'm gonna say, I'm gonna say no, but I can see a joke coming here. <laughs> have you, <laughs> have you been hammering the joke book looking for dinosaur jokes? Oh, it's a real one. Oh, nice one, dude. What is it? Is it any good? Does it look cool? Like, have they done, like, a... You bastard. <laughs> you bastard. No, I don't want to move to this... Fucker. Oh, okay. Fossil management. I knew it. All right, let's get this one delivered. Oh, that's another big one as well. We might finish this, man. We've got a load of these big old bones. Oh, we're about to level up again as well, lads. I, look, I like the little noise it makes when you hit it. I think that's fantastic. Oh, shit. The bones are possessed. Oh. Manual clean it, then. Oh, this doesn't look too bad. He says, until the little parts come out. I should have known. I was... I should have known you going with it. Do you think he saw us? Dude, this this big old pile I can manage. Those other ones where, like you've got like the little bits you have to put on. They hurt me, Craven. They hurt me. It's just so, so satisfying, like, seeing the date come off them. Like, let's get in there for a right good look. Let's get in there and, and look this bone right in the eye. Oh, dude, I'm... Very excited for some more Resident Evil 7 the weekend. Dude, I was looking at Power Wash Simulator. Um, and I was thinking about getting it. Because this is like my first simulator game. I haven't played one before. You know? And it was like, I was looking at this. I was looking at Gas Station Simulator. But that game just seemed like work. Like, if I was like working like a garage somewhere, it'd just be like, oh yeah. You know? Like, I went with the dinosaur one because, you know, it's a bit different, you know? A bit like... Because we don't get many dinosaur games, which is a shame. <laughs> You've got it, have you? Oh, dude, is it any good? Oh, no. I wonder how many people that work in a gas station has bought that game. Do you know what I mean? Oh, look at that. Perfect coverage. Perfect. You've done Surgeon Simulator. 
I think I remember that. That wasn't long ago, was it? I think I remember that, you know? Because that wasn't the game we started out playing that day, right? Or I may have watched the VOD. Yeah, I may have watched the VOD then. Because I remember watching you play something and then Sage and Simulator come up and I thought, fuck me, this is out of the blue. You know, this is like off brand sort of thing. And it was good. Dude, I sucked at Operation when I was a kid. So I'd have no hope with Sage and Simulator. The patient would be dead as fuck. Poor guy. Or Gil. I might get it though, give it a go. It could be a laugh. Final Fantasy Seven, Dude. I fucking love that game. That... That game's got, like, a special place in my heart. That was my first uh, JRPG. I didn't play many on, like, the, the NES and the SNES and stuff. But when I got a PS1, my cousin had it, because he's, he's a fair few years older than me. So he had it, and when I got my PS1, I was like, right, I need this game. And I loved it. I played that game for hours and hours, just exploring... It was so good. Like, I think Final Fantasy VII and Final Fantasy IX are the best, the best two. I loved Final Fantasy IX as well, so much. I thought it was great. Uh, Final Fantasy VIII was okay. I didn't really like the main character. You know, the, the Gunblade guy, uh, Squall, Squall? I wasn't a big fan of him. But 7 and 9, man, I absolutely loved so much. Dude, 9 was tough. It was a tough game. It really was. Especially when you're younger, right? There was uh, one of the bosses you fought in the water. Emerald something i can't think of his name now and when i was a little kid man i he was bringing out the, the kid rage in me like yes weapon that's him <laughs> he uh he brought out the, the little kid rage in me craven i was so fucking angry trying to beat him i can't even remember i found him i found him by accident like, what the fuck? And, like, you know, seeing the summons and stuff for the first time, man? Oh, my God. So good. So, so good. And, like, kids these days, they play stuff like fucking Roblox and, and Minecraft, you know? And look, when we were kids, man, we had, we had quality fucking games. We had some shit as well. But for the most part, man, we had fucking quality games, right? Those, oh, oh, dude. I don't think this is going to go with our our dinosaur that we're building already. But we had quality shit back then. I'm kind of excited for this new PlayStation um, Plus thing they're doing. I'm kind of excited for it to see what they chuck on there. Oh, dude, I know. That, that's why I haven't played the remake yet, because I don't want it to wreck... I don't want it to wreck the original for me, you know? Like, I don't want to play the remake, and it'd be like... It'd be, it'd be bad. And it'll sour me on, on my, like, my childhood, you know? That's why I haven't played the remake yet. And the, the way they've released it in, like, episodes. Like, just, just give, give me the full game. Like, I had in like 97 you know yeah i don't like that i don't like when when they do that i know um telltale used to do a lot of it with like their their games but they 
they were like a story. They were like a TV show, right? And that was cool, but you can't do that with Final Fantasy, man. That's that's fucking heartbreaking. Oh, it does fit on this one. It does fit on this one. Right, let's go. Let's go to our our board. Assemble, Avengers. Oh, I got to build it myself. They're not going to build it for me, bastards. To be fair, the building part is the worst part with like the little bits. I didn't click there. Yeah. I, I was so sad when they done that to Final Fantasy VII. Yeah, and it is. It's just like the opening the opening couple of hours of the game is like, come on, man. You know, fuck. I know they've added bits in and things like that, but it's it's not the same. It's really not. I did play Final Fantasy XV a while back, and I quite enjoyed that one. Like, I didn't think I'd enjoy it as much because it went away from, like, the turn-based combat. But it played quite well. I quite enjoyed it. Well, I got the, the platinum on it for the PlayStation. There was one one trophy. You had to walk so many miles. And I'd finished the game at this point. I was like, oh, man, you know, I don't want to do this again. So I put one of the Mr.'s hair bobbles around the left stick. <laughs> and I left it walking in circles while I went to work one day. Came home and I had the trophy. I did. I did. That was uh that was a fucking a tragedy, that game. Like what the hell? Why? And Lightning was a shit character. She really was. And the dude that had the chocobo living in his hair. Like, come on. I know I know Final Fantasy is a bit quirky and a bit, you know. But at least give us some good characters, right? I have been thinking about playing 10 again because I see it on sale on Steam quite often. I think that could be fun. I don't know if I'd play it every day, but I'd do it on like a, a Saturday or Sunday or something like that, you know? Because I do find like the modern like JRPGs they can they can take forever on stream you know the old ones not so bad because they don't take too long they did when you were younger because you're like what the fuck am i doing but the the modern ones seem to like like drag it out a bit yeah i i enjoyed 10 i know a lot of people weren't a big fan of the the blitz ball but i thought it was all right you know it is what it is. They tried to add something new to the game. You know? They, um, they tried to add something new, and I, I can... I can commend them for that. Because we do want... We do want our games to be, uh... FIFA or Madden or something just reskinned over and over again, right? I mean, some people might. I'm not. I'm not for that. I like to. Have, I like to have new things in games. Even though the trend for a while seemed to be everyone wanted a grappling hook in their game. I don't know where that started. But for a long time, it was like, "Hey, do you, do you like Uncharted? It's a grappling hook now. It's like, hey, do you like Halo? Have a grappling hook. Like, dude, come on." Grappling hooks are fun and everything, like mechanically fun, but don't put them in everything, please. Wait, oh, dude. Grappling hooks everywhere. Just everything had a grappling hook in it. It's like, oh, come on. Settle down.
Yeah, Zelda had the... Was it the hookshot? Was it called the hookshot in Zelda? Dude, I love Zelda. That's um, one of the games I should be having delivered Saturday. Uh, Skyward Sword. Because I never played that one. I think that was just a Wii only thing, right? And I never had a Wii. Because I, I just don't get on with motion controls, like, at all. I'm terrible with them. But apparently, they've taken the motion controls out of it for the Switch version. So I should be all right. Dude, Link to the Past was fun. Uh, I didn't play it until a long time after it was out. Like, I was a lot older when I played it. But it was a fine game. Oh, mate, I hate motion controls. I was playing Mario Galaxy a couple of months back. And the motion controls and that triggered me so fucking hard. It was like a, a boss fight. I think it was like a spider. You know, it's like waggle the stupid fucking controller. And it was like, oh, come on, man. Just let me jump on the fucker's head, you know? And it really soured me on it. I should go back and do Super Mario Sunshine because that was one of my favourite Mario games. It drove me around the bend, dude. It was like, yeah, waggle at the spider. I was like, I don't want to waggle. Sat there like a fucking idiot doing this. Like, come on. Oh, mate. Dude, that has taken shape nicely. Right, okay. Oh, okay, right, okay. Um... Right, we have to open this one up. We're going to send this one to the preparation team. Oh, once we've done this, uh, we are going to get some upgrades, hopefully. We should have some skill points. Skill tree in this game, man, is fantastic. I like the little dink noise so much. Fossil preparation room. Right, okay. Uh, management. Bone cleaning. All right, fossil detection is maxed out. Workers. Um... All right, we can get that. Management. Swimming. I mean, we might as well get tree cutting for when we're out on expeditions, right? Dude, that looks cool. That looks cool. Um, I've got one here at the minute that I haven't played in a while. It's called Mount Your Friends. And it looks just just daft like that. And there's another one on Steam I was looking at, but I don't know if I'd be able to stream it. It was called Genital Jousting. Yeah, I don't know if I'd get away streaming that one. It looks, it just looks mad. It just looks pure madness. Right, okay, let's go. Gentle jousting is banned, is it? Oh, good job I didn't get that then. Like, I don't know why, because it's like super cartoonish. They don't look like real, like real dicks, right? But it just, it just looked mad. There's one my kids playing at the minute called uh, Gang Beasts or some shit. And you have to throw each other off buildings. That looks pretty good. They, I didn't see the butts. What? No, surely not. Oh, no. Oh, man. Oh.
Oh wow. Okay, I I can see why that was uh, why that might not be allowed on Twitch. But you know they they have women licking years and stuff. You know. Oh, I can send that one to the preparation room too. How many preparation rooms? We got three. Okay. We got three. In preparation room. Ah, prep oh, we need to go out onto expedition, then, boys. Right, we're going to take the off-roader. Change day. What day are we going on? Oh, it's raining now. We don't... Right, we'll go today. We'll go today. Um, apparently, you have to... Once you've, like, dug them up, you have to wrap the rock in plaster so they don't get broken in transport. That's what they're telling me, anyway. You know? So I think that... Game has been saved. Oh, yeah. All right. Do we need to fuel you up? No. Okay. All right. Let's have a look at the map then. Right. We're here. There's the excavation site. Dude, I, I was trying so hard. I just went nuts on me. Started doing barrel rolls and shit. Like, what the hell? I don't even know if I'd be able to replicate that if I tried. Right, let me check. Is this the right way? It is. We're going up here and to the left. It just went, it just went absolutely mental, the truck did. I was like, what the fuck's going on here? Oh. I thought it was going to do it again, and I shit myself. All right, four-wheel drive on. I just didn't know what to do. I didn't know how to recover from that. To be. Oh no, that's no. The, the dig site is this way. It feels weird moving the camera with the mouse and not the car. I'm terrible at driving with a keyboard, man. So bad. Right, let's go. I'm hoping to, in the next week or so, get, like, my display thing behind me sorted. So, I won't be having my green screen on anymore. I hope. Oh, handbrake. Oh, we got. Wait, did I bring pallets with me? Please say I bought pallets. Ah. Oh no. Um. Right. Can we? Have we got any skill points? No skill points. Hmm. So I'm pretty sure I've seen the thing for drones. Hmm. Right, I guess we're going... Oh! It has changed. Wait there. This isn't how I left it. This I I was I was still in the wrong place. I was still in the wrong place. Oh we've got something, boys.
that's too small to have a bone in, surely. Oh, shit. Right, we've got one year. Okay, let's knock this out then. Dude, now we've got upgraded shit. So good. The upgrade's the best. Quality of life, boys, you know? Quality. Oh. I thought there was a little tunnel going in there then. Right, we should probably get the... Like, break up the ones that haven't got anything in. Like this. Dude, one hit. We're a fucking beast. Beast of an archaeologist. Paleontologist. Excavationist. Saying I'm stirred in water, even though I'm not. You're lying to me, game. You're lying. Absolutely lying. Craven! Cheers to the resub, my dude. Much appreciated, man. Ooh. Right, okay. What sort of time of day is it there for you now? Because I know you're working UK hours. It's four in the morning. Oh, shit. Well, the next two weeks or so, I should be starting a bit, a bit earlier in the daytime. With a bit of luck. So hopefully you'll have something to watch. More, more through the night, you know. Time zones are a ball lake, man. Really are. That's why, like your time that you start on a weekend is absolutely perfect, you know. Right, nothing in those. Let's smash this up. Oh, shit, there's one there. Oh, fuck. Flew at me. We got one. We got one. Move the stone onto a pallet. Okay. We got one, boys. We got one. Oh, dude, it breaks up the day, man, when you wake from home. Even, even just as background noise, you know? Even just as background noise, it's great. I know. The only reason I started messing about with it was when the PS4 came out. Uh, I need to go and get crates. It was when the PS4 came out and I was playing games and whatnot. And my buddies wanted to see what I was playing, you know? Like, hey, is that any good? You know, before I waste my money sort of thing. Wait, have I got stuff on the back of the truck? Yeah, there are no empty crates. Okay. And it was basically just my mates to watch me playing whatever it was. And people started watching and stuff like that. I thought, oh, this is this is fun. And then I didn't do it for a long time, like work and stuff like that. It was mad hours all the time. And I didn't really play games for a long time either. And then when I had to buy a PC to start working from home, that's when I thought, you know what? I'm gonna give I'm gonna give it a go. Because it was fun before. But now I can do more things. I'm gonna give it a go. And it's it's great fun. As long as I've as long as I've got something to play. You know? 
as long as I got something to play to pass the time. Because I, I don't think I could carry a just chat in a stream very well. Unless I was, like, looking at something and whatnot, you know? That's it. The... The, in, the interactivity is great. You know, especially for, like, a channel, say, my size. You know? Like, a lot of the big channels, you don't get a look in. I, that's what... Oh, I nearly went again. How's it going, buddy? Hi, on Craven. Give me a minute, dude.
I'm back. One of the one of the lads came down. I wasn't expecting that. Sorry, boys. You know, we need to get these fucking crates packed in, don't we? Uh, see me pull the handbrake up then. Uh, stop. I right, go forward. There we go. Out. Right. I right, we can get another one in there by the look of it. And let's go dig up some fucking bones, boys. Well, we've already got one dug up, haven't we? Wait, what? Why can't I get another one on there? There's plenty of room, surely. Right, is that it? <laughs> oh no, I've got I've got no thing about that, dude. I'd soon tell you. Now you come down, cause we are going to be playing a uh, Star Citizen. I think it's called. Um, over the next week or so. So I'm going to be giving that a go. I don't know if I'm going to stream that. I don't know if that'll. If that'll lend well to the whole streaming thing. But a load of the lads are going to be giving it a go because they've got like a free event or something. So I'm going to be getting stuck into that to see if it's any good. Hopefully. Hopefully. I hope it's good. Right, come on. Up you get. Right, we've got enough enough room for six bones. Six fossils. That's meant to be like some mad space like MMO thing. That's the one, yeah, Craven, that's the one, dude. I've never played anything like that, so this is gonna be uh it's gonna be entertaining. <laughs> I'm gonna be like, what do I do? Because a few of the boys that I'm gonna be playing with play it like quite often, you know, they're well into it. But I haven't got a clue with shit like that. Oh no. I've done it again. But I haven't got a clue with shit like that. Oh god. Right, let's uh, let's try and get a tidy, tidy run up to this. The museum work is finished. Right, okay. Right, we should be able to pack this away now. Oh no. There are no empty crates at the storage. I think I will. Empty crate storage is full. Right, okay. I will send that to the truck. There we go. I think I will. I don't know if you can use controller on it, though, funny enough. I'd probably fucking really trigger them if I used a controller, you know. I probably would. I might use a controller. Because we know what I'm like. Ah, oh, yeah, we got this one here. We know what I'm like, dude. I like to, uh, I like to aggravate people. Oh shit, that hit me right in the face. That hit me right in the face. Let's open this up. Oh, Timber. That's not what you say when a rock falls and you landslide. Right, there's nothing in that one. Let's smash it. Yeah, they'll probably have the right ump if I use a controller. 
You're a bad egg, you are, Craven, giving me all these ideas. <laughs> right, I'll let that fall down. Right, nothing in that one. Nothing in that one. So we'll smash that up. Let's undercut this, see if we can cause another landslide. Nothing, 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 okay. I have to check, I checked this one, right? I thought I checked that one. See, there's more stuff down here. Oh, well, there's a lot of rocks here, boys. We could be banging trouble. That's it, dude. That's it. They'll, they'll fucking... They'll hate me, man, for using the controller. It's going to be great. I might stream it just so people can hear them. Ooh. Oh, we've got one. We got one. Nothing. Nothing. Right, let's uh, let's check this. Nothing there. Oh fuck. I'm glad there's like no damage. Like you can't lose health or anything by getting hit in the face with rocks. Because my guy would be in a bad way if, if that was the case. I can just see it now. I'll I'd make it to that live stream fails fucking thing. Streamer gets uh streamer gets picked on for using the controller playing Star Citizen or Starfield or whatever it is. I can't even remember what it's called. How am I gonna download it? Yeah, a couple of the lads that, that I grew up with are well into it, you know. But I've never been one for, like, um, NNOs and stuff. I did play a bit of Elder Scrolls online, and that, that was fine. That was a fun enough game. I didn't really know what I was doing with it. Stop, you bastard. You hate me. You, you, you hate me so much. I done nothing but be nice to you and and you come up with star war shame on you <laughs> star war citizen all right let me all right i can't check that one all right there's nothing in that one let's smash this Dude, the uproar in chat that day when you said it, I was like, oh no. It's a mutiny. <laughs> that was funny as fuck. Right, let's get back over here because we might have to move some of these off. The goonie. You bastard. I'm gonna have to I'm gonna have to put that on for the boy. I don't think he's seen the Goonies. And I loved that shit when I was a kid, man. It was so good. Um, right. Send crate to truck. There we go. It wouldn't let me... Uh, it wouldn't let me plaster that then. Right, let me go and empty the the empty ones. Unload the empty ones. I need to be like a proper. There are no empty crates on the truck. Right now, we're we're out of empty crates. Okay, 
Hey, you guys. Bomber, you've been bad. I, I fucking, I love the Goonies one. It's so good. I'm just checking over here because this is the type of stuff that you find find rocks in. He doesn't like climbing up this. Right, I'm gonna have to just dig this one out and see what's in here. We can't get our little our little car up there. We'll just dig this one out. This truffle shuffle. Oh, dude, yes. Have you seen pictures of them, like, grown up now? It's insane, dude. It came up on, like, my Facebook or something. God, last year, I'm going to say. I'd seen them grown up. Oh, mate. And the thing is, like, this, like they just look like older versions of themselves. It's great, man. Honestly, it's really cool. Uh, keep these rocks off me. Yeah, he, he come down. He's like, "Oh, are we are we playing playing star." star setters and I was like yeah man and he was like where's my invite to the wedding you bitch and I was like oh shit I forgot I, I didn't handle the 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 invites the missus did but I was meant to be like getting people's addresses and I just forgot about it I just wanted to play games <laughs> yes it is the 15th of October at 12 o'clock. See, I, I knew I knew the time. I knew what time I had to be there. <gasps> oh. But I just wasn't sure on what day. Right, there's nothing. Smash this. Smash that. Yep, yeah, it's the 15th it is, dude. I'm going to be all suited and booted and wearing a top hat. I said to the missus I want to wear a top hat and a taco cat t-shirt. She was not impressed. If looks could kill, I'd be in a bad way, Craven. I'd be on life support. Ford, it's um, it's like a month before the missus's birthday as well, and she was like, "Okay, it's just like it's like a month before my birthday." And I was like, "Uh, okay." <laughs> yes, that's what I was going to show up like, but she's not a big fan of that, you know. She went having none of it, and I was like, "Oh," but like it'd be funny though, right? Let's go up here. Anything? I really want to pickaxe everything out. Because we can't climb up a lot of this shit. Like, I, I'm, I'm fearful of missing out on stuff. Like, the high places we can't get to, you know? There we go. Right, let's get the... Oh, shit. Right, let's get the little car out up here. Have, have a wander around. Nothing. I think we may have a complete dinosaur, you know, lads. Oh. I think we may have a complete dinosaur. That could be good. 
So, what do we have to do? That's it. At least I'd be there, right? That's the main thing, isn't it? At the end of the day, that, that I got there. You know, I, I'm i there ready to do my, my vows or whatever it is, right? Oh. Right, crates on the truck. Right, let's get these uh, let's get these fucking bones out of here then, boys. I uh, I low key shit myself a bit as well when um, when my buddy got here because I didn't hear him come in. I turned around, he was just stood by the side of me. Oh no! Oh no! Not again! Not again! No, I haven't. I haven't. I was under the assumption for the longest time I just turn up and say I do. I have no idea what I'm gonna what I'd write. I have no idea. Uh like I I have serious problems taking things seriously. Like I really do. Like everything is just like Right, okay. Yeah, everything is just uh, just a joke. So, oh, dude, if I have to write my own, look out. Be funny though. I was gonna stream it to Twitch. I I found I yeah I found the bridge. We found him a few <laughs> a few times. I should plug a controller in just to drive on this. I think. Right, let me have a look. Was, yeah, we're we're turning right. We're turning right here, everyone. Oh shit! There we go. <laughs> I don't know. I I'm pretty terrible at driving, man. I um, when I was playing Cyberpunk, I'd do all the first pierce and stuff with the mouse and keyboard, and then drive with the controller fucking hopeless still right okay there we go so if we do oh we've got a skill point uh We'll put it on visual inspection. We haven't found a, a way like where we have to swim yet. Yes. Yes, I want to travel to the museum. Because apparently, the fossil team of playing the fossils. Yes. Give me that XP. We might have enough for some more skill points, have we? Could also deliver a canister of fuel requires one employee. Uh, how do I get more employees? How do I do that? I've got one technician. Ah, oh, level one. I don't think so. I think they just clean them off. I think that's what they do. Some of the. Oh no, we need to do this, don't we? There we go. And now we need to cut him open. Where's, where's a good starting place? Right by there. That'll do. We may have a, a finished dinosaur here. We won't be able to finish him today. Because it won't be long and the mess will be home and it'll be dinner time for me. I can't wait because I'm fucking starving. Alright, let's tap away at this. Give him a little tap. Uh, fossil preparation room. There we go. Right, let's get the ones out of here. Assemble. Oh, this don't look too bad. 
This looks alright. Alright, we got a couple of little bits. But not too many. I have no idea yet. I'll have to see what the missus fancies. Because if I had my way, it would be like chicken nuggets and chips all the time or something like that, right? <laughs> I'm bad for it. Like, when, when me and the boy are having dinner or whatever. Because I normally do his dinner when he comes in from school. And then me and the missus have dinner then at night. But you know, if I'm having something at the same time as the boys, like, right, mate. Proper kids' food tonight, like. Fucking turkey dinosaurs and chips or something stupid. Some beans or something, right? I fucking love it. Even though, you know, on the weekends, he's like, oh, are, you, uh, are you cooking breakfast this morning? It's like, oh, man. Makes me do a fry-up, doesn't he? Duck spring rolls. Ooh. Oh, I thought it was going to break. I've had uh, the vegetable ones. I'm not a huge fan. I'd probably like the duck ones, as long as it's got, like, a bit of meat in it, you know? I'm all right. But the vegetable ones, the missus eat some. Like, a lot of them. Well, I say a lot of them. Like, if you have Chinese or whatever. You don't like their ones either. Oh. Yeah, the, the vegetable ones, man. It's like... Do I do I want a, a, to be a rabbit? You know? Like, not really. The missus bought lettuce the other day to put on stuff. And I didn't know how I felt about it at first. But it's been used a bit, so it's it's not so bad. We're, we're doing all right. The boy was having his dinner the other day. He was having, like, burger and chips. And he had, like, lettuce and all on it. And he was, like, proper full. Like, you could see him. He's like, ugh. And he's like, yeah, next time I'm not having lettuce. I was like, that's my boy. <laughs> Oh, mate, I used to eat a lot of rabbit as it, as it goes. When I was a kid, I used to eat a fucking shit ton of the ra rabbits, man. My uncle had gone and catch them. He'd bring them home. And I'd have, like, fucking all sorts of rabbit thing. It was always, like, rabbit soup quite often. More often than not. He's nine, he is. He's ten now in December. And he's mad for his games and everything, craving like he wouldn't believe. It was him that got me playing that Phasmophobia. And he had to teach me how to do things all because I didn't have a clue. I think he was playing Stormworks today and you have to like build your own like rescue boat and stuff. He's mad for it, mate. Absolutely mad for it. He's like started walking himself to school and shit now as well. It's insane, dude. Absolutely, ins absolutely insane. Three, dude. He was about that age when we were having lasagna one night and he had it on the sofa by the side of him. And he like fell over and put his head in it. And he cried for like two days about it. Funny as fuck. But he had the right ump, man, because he put his head in the lasagna. The right ump. And he had like this little this little potty when he was young. And every time like you'd done something on it, it'd play musical tunes and stuff. Great, absolutely great. Um, he was about, he was about four, I'd say, when he pissed, when he pissed in the missus's shoes. Yeah, I'd say he was about four when he did that. That was funny. And it went like he, he just went up to the 
he went like he just went up to the cupboard and pissed in the cupboard. Um, I was in the bathroom and I'd had something. I think I had food poisoning, and I literally couldn't leave the toilet. I just couldn't, like physically impossible. And the missus had left his shoes on the back doorstep. And I said to the guy, goes, oh, look, mate, you're just going to have to go and piss out the back door. Just go piss in, like, go piss in the drain, like. Okay. Anyway, the missus went out the garden. And she was like, has it been raining? I was like, not that I know of, like. And she goes, there's fucking puddles in my shoes. And I was like, all right. I was like, hey, mate, did you, did you piss in mummy's shoes? Yeah, I had to go. <laughs> I was like, oh, fair enough. And like I said, like, go out and piss and go out and piss in the drain, like. Oh, dude, I know. It's mad, isn't it? Like, he, um, he's had a thing lately. The missus has been watching, like, it's like a newer version of uh, London's being in. I can't think what it's called. And, I came in one day, he was sat there, and he was sat there watching it. I was like, dude, you don't even know what's going on, like, you know? Like, what the hell? And he sat there, like, watching a grown-up like grown show and all. But I, I, I was watching something the other day. Well, he was watching something the other day. And it was like, it looked like a plasticine baby. And it's like, nappy didn't fit it. It was fucking odd, man. Really odd. Really fucking weird. He doesn't have to watch some stuff. He, he loves watching Twitch as well. But he watches people that, that don't speak English. That's weird. I'm like, you don't even know what they're saying, mate. He's like, yeah, I'm just watching the game. I'm like, oh, fair enough. You know? Dude, and it's really, it's really cool, like, hearing... Uh, like hearing him play games with his friends and the things they say to each other and all that's that's entertaining you know alright in preparation room they're all in the preparation room dude the boy used to do that um, some little kid called Ryan or some shit right and the thing is he would he would watch him play play with like anything like no matter what it was even if it weren't weren't uh toys he was interested in he was mad for it and that little kid man has started releasing games and shit now he's got like a kart racer and shit it's insane absolutely insane but yeah, he loved that shit, man. He doesn't watch much, much of it these days. Like he's not too interested in it now. It's all, it's all games and and stuff like that. He did, he did find the the swimming pools and hot tub section on Twitch one day, Craven. I was, uh, I went down to see what he was up to. Cause half the time, yeah. Once he's once he's been fed, he don't want to know, right? He's fucking into his games or watching some shit. So I was working and I went down. I was like, all right, mate. He was like, oh, yeah. I was like, what are you watching? He was like, oh, someone's on vacation. I was like, oh, yeah. You know, let's have a look. There was some woman and she was quite um, top heavy, shall we say. Quite top heavy. And uh, I was fucking loving it. He was like, oh, yeah, she's got a banana and whatever else she had there. I was like, yeah, I don't think you should be watching this one, mate. You know, I thought fair play for finding it, but he likes watching like um, Five Nights at Freddy's and stuff like that as a rule. Dude, yeah. Oh, I'm watching uh, vacation videos. I was like, what? What the fuck's that? That's why I had a luck, boy. He's straight in the hot tub section. I was like, well. You definitely spent too much time around me. Too much time around me. Yes, he's he's fucking mental. 
<laughs> it was great, man, honestly. I was like, yeah. Yeah, he's mad, man. Oh, you ought to hear him get pissed off at games as well. I don't know what he was playing the other day, but he was getting the right ump with it. Probably Fortnite. She's mad on that shit. And he has pocket money and stuff, like, you know, like if he puts the dishes away or something, it'll be like, oh, you know. And uh, he's like, oh, shall I buy, shall I buy Fortnite skins? I was like, well, you know, buy something that, you know, like get yourself a proper game because some of those skins, man, you can buy a full game for the price of those skins. Dude, Tony Hawk was brutal. We used to have a bunch of us playing it. Like, we'd take it in turns. We'd do, like, a couple of runs each. Mate. Trying to nail, like, the, the full... Like, you could combo around the warehouse, like, you know? Oh, trying to do that. It was, oh, it was a right ball, like, you know? But I loved it. And the music for the Tony Hawk games was fantastic. I don't know if you'd be able to play it on Twitch now, though, with the way they DMCA everything. Which is a shame. Oh, yeah, dude. And having, like, Spider... Like, Tony Hawk's 2 had Spider-Man, I think it was. But, like, trying to do, like, get Spider-Man, and that was cool. And, like, the zero gravity thing you could put in. Oh, mate. Oh. We need to wait now for this next one. Oh, pro. Okay, okay. Alright, we've got two more fossils to unlock. But we've got like three more zones. Hmm. This might be a mission for Saturday. Because I'm going to have to call it a day in a minute. Because the miss is going to be coming home. And it's going to be coming up for dinner time. I don't know what I'm going to have. Hopefully it's something good. I really fancy curry for whatever reason. I don't know why. I don't know why, but I really fancy curry. There must be different dig sites, is there? Huh. Dude. Yes, the Lion King. I, I weren't so bad with Aladdin. I was alright with Aladdin. But, mate, The Lion King. I never finished it. It was so fucking hard. And I watched the speed run. Oh, God. Christmas time, maybe? <sighs> Dude. And people were finishing it in like 10 minutes and stuff. It was insane. Fifty percent faster. Oh, okay. I have to get that one, do I? I have to get the drone, dude. I I finished Aladdin, but Lion King man was just too much. Oh, yes. Yeah, Lion King was just too much. I couldn't take it. The the rage in me was insane. I um, I was looking to get in Castle of Illusion because that's on Steam, like a remaster. I was looking at picking that up, and I loved that game as a kid as well. So I might give that a go one of these nights. But Lion King, I don't think I'd ever play that again. That was too much. I hated myself. <laughs> oh, dude. We can fast travel. What the hell? Mate, there's so much we can do in this game. There's so much we can do. Oh, it was uh, the bit I always got to. It was like... It seemed like a bunch of like thorns and the hyenas and stuff. Oh, man. I'd, I'd have PTSD over that. Like, fuck. That was horrible. 
There really was. A soap. <sighs> Awaiting inspection. What is this? Where are these? these yeah it was that bit i could always get to that bit when i was younger and then i just get absolutely battered oh mate you'd hear you'd hear words that you'd like damn is that a real word oh yeah it is <laughs> it was oh it was heartbreaking absolutely heartbreaking I'll, I'll tell you another one that got me craving when I was younger. I was having my bedroom decorated. And I had turtles on the NES. And my, my NES was on top of like like an upside down box or something. Maybe an upside down like bin. Something stupid like that. Uh, my mum was obviously in there. Or my dad was in there decorating and doing whatnot. And, you know, if you, like, looked at a NES the wrong way while it was turned on, the game would crash. <laughs> yeah. I came home from school ready to finish off Turtles, because I've been playing it, like, most of the weekend. Came home from school on the Monday, boy. Nope. Crashed. I was livid. Absolutely livid, mate. I was like, I don't want my bedroom decorated anyway. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man. Um, Turtles was tough, but I put that amount of time into it that it weren't so bad in the end. Um, Battletoads I never finished. Batman was tough on the NES. Uh, Shadow Warrior was another one. They called that Ninja Gaiden in America. I didn't know that until a couple of weeks back. Probotector. Oh, I'd never heard of that one. Oh, I never played that one. Ooh. Battletoads, mate. That was hard. You know the bit in the sewer with like the, the skateboards? Like the hoverboards? That's what I mean. Like, I'm like people now say about Dark Souls it's like we need an easy mode in our games it's like nope you go and play some of those old games and you'll, you'll know what fucking hard is yes and I love Battletoads man I absolutely love Battletoads when I was younger but it was just so fucking hard I like I'm tempted to try the new one because they've done like a remaster or a remake. So I'm tempted to give it a go and see how it is. But knowing my luck, I'll be playing it and just wanting to hate myself all over again. Yes. What'd you hit me for? I didn't mean to. Bang. No, we're even. It's like, no, we're not. <laughs> Oh, dude, the ab yes, the abseiling bit was a bastard. It's I've been watching one of the guys that comes and hangs out in here, uh, Midori. He's been playing Punch Out in the mornings, like while I'm working. A man, like I remember it being tough, like I remember it being tough when I was younger, but now. It looks impossible, you know? And another one that I'm going to be gearing up to watch soon is uh, Quix. He comes in here now and again. And he's starting Alex the Kid soon. Oh, Contra. Dude, I didn't know that. Ah. Oh, shit. I... Didn't play that on a NES. I played that on an emulator when I had a PC. 
God, what did I have? I had an IBM desktop thing. I know what you mean now, yeah. I never I never had like the original cartridge. Dude. Contra man, yeah. I played like I played Contra, I had like the I had like the ROM, you know? Yeah, I never had the original one. Oh shit. I didn't know that. Mind it was only a couple of weeks back that I knew that Shadow Warrior was Ninja Gaiden in America. You know? Holy fuck. That's insane. Oh. I know what I'm going to call it there. Mr. Craven. I want to thank you for hanging out tonight and witnessing some dinosaur goodness. We need to go back to that quarry Saturday and get the rest of this one. We only need one more piece by the look of it. Well, I am going to make sure I save this. We are, fish we are finishing that dinosaur craven. We are. Yeah, save it. We are finishing that fucking dinosaur. It's going to be great. And we'll put it in our museum. We'll have people come and look at it and then give us lots of money. And then we can go expeditioning further away. So, until next time, guys, take it easy. I'll be live tomorrow. I don't know what time, though. It's, uh, it's birthday stuff tomorrow, so I don't have time I'll be on. I'll probably later on at night. But through the week now, it'll be earlier streams, I would have thought. And, uh, yeah, I'm looking forward to it. We're going to have a bunch of shit to play, so it's going to be great. No worries, Crave, mate, you too, dude. And I look forward to seeing you if I don't catch you tomorrow night. I look forward to seeing you Saturday morning for some Resi 7, because that's a great watch so far. Until next time, boys, take care. I'll see you all later.